hi guys you're welcome to our channel i'm excited today we are live in the city of oweri yes it's been almost a year i visited last and i'm super super excited to visit again you know i can see a lot of changes already happening around the city the roads are freer and uh, the areas i'm always scared of going because of traffic i can see they are all loosed up now you can drive freely in the city of over but few things have not still changed i'll be bringing you the update pretty soon and uh, for the purpose of this video we'll be taking our drive all around the city and we will be ending it around uh, uh what's it called imsu for those who are familiar with the territory so we'll drive through world bank area the new where axis you know uh control take it down to to imsu area to bring it to an end there and also i'll be telling you guys my preferred choice area to stay if i'm to relocate to Oweri and stating some of the reasons and probably cost of living in Oweri as well i'll be bringing to your notice so if you are new to our channel you are welcome to aline tv kindly do well to click the subscribe button and also turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos and for returning subscriber thank you very very much we do appreciate your love for our channel and like i said before don't forget to give us your thoughts in the comment section at the end of this video and if you are based in oweri do let us know in the comment section or if you are based in emo state as the case may be also do let us know in the comment section yeah it was quite a sweet drive i had from uh, okigwe down to oweri i never knew that road has been done i usually follow through uh uh in bc before but now i was told that that road is clean and the truth is i drove without even stepping on any potholes here i entered into a weary that was quite impressive and kudos to to the governor for fixing that road yeah the road is super neat so if you are planning to travel from enugu you can use okigwe road it is super clean the only constraint still is it's a a single lane road and caution still needs to be applied when driving on that road so let's get into the video we'll be approaching uh control pretty soon and for those who are so familiar with Oweri, you know that control is one area that is usually traffic jam i usually avoid it anytime i visit your city before but now the roads are so free like uh, i don't know probably i think the reason could be because a lot of the potholes have been filled within the city i think that was why there's a little bit of free movement and then also yeah, maybe the first car city is contributing to less cars on the road too or the popular saying that it's trending one time that they relocated the way to asaba could that be the reason i don't know so you guys could also answer that for me in the comment section but Oweri is super free now looking clean yeah so i think the governor is doing quite a lot of work in regards to cleaning the city and fixing a lot of the potholes they have because i know around this control axis going towards world bank there used to be some potholes around that part but i think they are all fixed now so it makes movement around that region a bit uh, faster and clean yeah so if you are based in Oweri, like I said before, let us know where you are based in the comment section. So tell us about the situation in your area, the life situation, the rental situation in your area. Do let us know. And also, my Oweri people, feel free to recommend for me where should I go to, where should I eat good food in Oweri. Because I know you guys have this uh, spot here and there. There's this place in uh, World Bank I usually eat in the morning. It's just a very quick spot where you just eat. By 12, they are done. So, but later in the evening, you need to start looking for where to eat. So, recommend for me where I can get food to eat. Yes, a la carte or something towards in the evening time. So, just let me know in the comment section where I can get some good food to eat. So, as I said earlier, the city is looking pretty, pretty, pretty clean. And um, the roads are all looking good. A lot of potholes have been fixed. And the roads are very, 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 very free. So, that is good to see. Um, for for the accommodation thing in Oweri, I think if I'm to relocate to Oweri, being sincere, I think I would love to stay in in, in, in either New, New Oweri or World Bank area. I think I prefer those area better, uh, probably because of the road network or should I say because of the life around there generally. So I think I prefer the World Bank axis 
and the new way axis and rents have also made inquiry comparatively around the 600 to 700 a bit fair a bit fair for a two three bedroom flat around those areas so i think it's a bit fair so i think i love those areas better i've been to ikenebu i've been to in a lot of those roads you know where i've been to those axes and i think i prefer the world bank area and the new Owere area better than other areas in the world so you can also give me your preferred choice in the comment section if you are based there let me know uh, other areas you prefer and tell me your reason why so from my drive around from my inquiries i think i just feel comfortable around these regions that i mentioned so you also let me know your own in the comment session as well and uh, again like i said there are some downside about the way which i'm always conscious about i think the state government is to look into it i think so much power has been given to a lot of tout in the city and there's a lot of troubling thing like i had this little sticker in my car because of that i was parked and this boy almost harassed me just this little sticker of the person i bought my car from that's there so they call themselves the advertisement people and the harassment was quite uh, massive and i think they've empowered them so much that they just jump on vehicles they are almost in every traffic light and they're even working hand in hand with police so you even need to be careful if you are using a company vehicle for instance in the city you need to be very careful because they work hand in hand with police once police stops you sees your paper as a company vehicle he just allows them to come from one corner and those guys can be really 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 terrible i think that's one thing that needs to be looked into in the city because it naturally scares people away that's why it makes people to just i don't want to go to worry i don't think i can go to worry you know so i think that needs to be that needs to be looked into as well so a lot of power has been given to some touts in the town to misbehave so i don't know maybe it's just my experience so for those who are based there also do let me know but these are my observations like you know we bring you the sincere truth just as we see it in any city we bring it to you live and direct so that's just my own experience of the city it's been a long time i visited so i revisited again now and that is just the experiences i'm having within the city and i could see them in different patches in different corners within the within the city you know so that is it that is it that is it like i said they're always with police officers so don't uh this trip i'm going to see i know people say you have a new amusement park so i'm going to visit your amusement park i'll visit your akachi though they say it has been destroyed partly but i'm still going to visit there to see what is left of akachi and it was one popular thing that trended one time so i'm going to visit this if you have good recommendations for me for uh of places i should visit in a way do let us know in the comment section but for the purpose of this video is just for the drive around like i said we'll be terminating this drive around imsu axis just to see what has changed also in that region i think we just passed the government house traffic light now uh oh no it's still ahead of us we'll be passing the government house traffic light very soon um uh, just to see but generally like i said the city is looking clean um everything is looking nice so if you are still seeing this video and you are not yet a subscriber please do well to click the subscribe button also turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos and for returning subscribers we do really appreciate you staying with us till now don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video so that those who are planning to visit Oweri or planning to relocate to Oweri can have a glimpse of what the city looks like so we are currently almost approaching the government house you know very soon you see us driving on one lane because that part of the government house has been barricaded I think the prison there was actually, um, uh, I think during the NSAS time, there was an attack there. So they had to block one of those lanes, go to the government house and the prison. So we are just driving on one for now. So as you can see, the trees they planted some time ago, they are all grown up now. So which is making, contributing to how calm and uh, cool the city is looking. And a lot of the potholes, like I said, has been fixed. And... Uh, the roads are looking wider so to say so the roads are free not no much traffic you know where again like before so quite interesting quite interesting so my emo people 
tell me what is happening in your area tell me what is happening in your community if there are any good thing or good happenings within your community in emo state you want us to see or you want us to film and bring to your notice also do let us know in the comment section we will sure make plans and make uh, make our time to visit that community and bring that video to you so your recommendations will be highly 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 expected in the comment section so pretty soon we'll be approaching the 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 imsu junction area so i think aha just to bring that to your notice as well i think when i drove into the city i observed there was a pothole around that imsu junction area that's causing a bit of traffic there you know and that traffic light for those who are familiar if you're about to divert to imsu there's a dish there's a big pothole there that is really causing some traffic i think it's something the government the state government can do it's not such a big uh big pothole the government can easily fix that to ease traffic around uh, that area so but don't worry pretty soon we'll be there to see how the area looks like so interestingly a lot of e-trees have sprung up in your cities a lot of hotels i saw a lot of them being put up for sale so i don't know is it that the business of uh hotel is no longer so boomy in Owere. Some hotels are up for sales now in Owere. I saw a couple of them that were put up for sale. So if you have interest in investing in hotel business in Owere, you can, you can visit the city, do scout around and see those that are up for sales and see if uh, they, are, they are the ones that interest you to buy. So but that was just some of my observations. So we are currently at the Imsu Junction now, about to divert. You can see that that bus just fell inside one inside the dish. Uh, this one also I'm on that path but i have to find a way to navigate myself out of that so that was causing a bit of this traffic beyond the traffic light that was causing a bit of this traffic for those diverting to imsu because me i'm actually going to imsu the cars are, are at my front they are going towards imsu but then the pothole uh, is scary a lot of us because nobody wants to fall in there so because of that we can't even follow the usual road we have to use this turn over here to divert to imsu so this is imsu area yes you can see the movement all around students you know playing on the road as usual so you can see students coming out from the school gate area moving around the whole place so this is imsu the popular and famous imsu imo state university so this is where it is located so we'll be seeing the gates pretty soon if you have enjoyed my video like i said let me know in the comment section uh tell me what's interesting you about the video or tell me your observations about the video you can also check out our previous videos on Oweri in our Oweri catalog and tell us the changes you also notice beyond what i have mentioned so do help us share this video as well so it can get to your loved ones and get to people who intend to relocate or travel to Oweri and do help us share so that those things mentioned the recommendations can get to the appropriate authorities and we hope they get it done soon 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 and for those who are watching and not yet a subscriber don't forget to click the subscribe button so that is Ipsu gate do click the subscribe button to join our big family and for returning subscribers thank you very very much i'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section bye